with the examination of the patient, so he asked the patient about his history, that did you feel thirsty? Uh, no. Uh, did you have diarrhea? No. Vomiting? No. And uh, we checked the turgor, uh, the turgidity of the skin, and there is no turgidity. Then we checked the capillary refilling time, and it's normal. Peripheral uh, veins are um, inflated. The patient is conscious. Uh, the mucus membrane for that we check the time. Yeah, and it's moist. Uh, so according to this examination the patient is uh, not dehydrated and has uh, uh, normal hydration but is in the uh, NPO diet which is milk or O's. Nothing to the mouth. Yeah. So uh, for that, what do we do? So we decide in which cat is the... Oh, we have two options yeah. to give the patient yeah. hydration. So we either give the container or we give we do catheter for patient who's still. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we check really Poly catheter and straight catheter. So mm, the difference between these two catheters are that uh, it's easy, rip, easy to replace. Did you use no. ten in No, the container. The container. The, the glass this one. Water. This one. Glass water. Uh, it's easy to. Uh, so if the patient is uh, moving or is mobile, we cannot use it because it's easy to come out. And um, th uh, and catheters, when we insert, actually we can use a 10 ml syringe to inflate the balloon. This is the one with the balloon. There wasn't any balloon he needed. <laughs> no, no, there was, there was one. There was one. Oops, sorry. There's a reason we didn't miss it. Why did he make it? No, it, it was the cat. It was the cat. No, 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 no. He made it. This one? No, no, no. no Give me the syringe one as well. balloon that yeah, when he put in that and then it keeps the huge one. But okay. Something like this. Okay. Okay. The other side. The other side. Oh, yeah, this one. Can you do it again? Uh -huh. Remove it. Remove the air. Okay, just like you said that. So it's inflated. So uh, it can be So if we put inside and we pull back. And so it's not movable. So it can be that for long term use it's uh, the patient can use it and for example if the patient is in inpatient department. <coughs> So this is a catheter bag that we can use yeah, to yeah. precisely know the urine the output. Yeah. output. And you put it down. And the normal and urine the normal. output. Normal urine output. I don't know. Can you find it? Normal urine output <coughs> depends upon the uh, <coughs> body weight. It it depends on the yeah. Oh, yeah. It's the same as the body, approximately. Like, no, 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 not exactly the same. It's, uh, it's like, uh, for example, if the 
uh, if we're doing hourly, hourly if we're doing, so 1 ml into kg. So like 1 ml, if the patient's weight is 70 kg, so it would be 7 ml per hour. And if we are doing in the daily basis, then it would be uh, the weight of the patient into 24 hours. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we we decide whether the patient is dehydrated or so now normal. So the patient is hydrated. So we just need to do the maintenance. Mm -hmm. We don't. Uh, we just need to keep the maintenance, and we don't need to uh, rehydrate him. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's this one. Oh, no, but this is for dehydrated. How did you explain for hydrated? For hydrated, for just maintenance because we But how many like? Uh, your body weight will be get the daily urine output. That's supposed to be the daily urine output. Then you have to meet the expectation. But he told sessions also. Yeah, you can like you can split into three sessions. From three sessions, like each and every session, you have to continue in order to meet the expectation. Really? Dehydrated. Do we need uh, for maintenance? Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. Put, uh, like yeah this is normal hydration. Maintenance. Yeah, this is just maintenance. First, expect you go to the yeah. No, first is compensatory yeah. level, and then there's maintenance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there's like a reflection there. Okay. Let's try because I will order. This is you but yeah, for example, we will do the same body weight in the same that all of you did, right? Yeah. This is uh, for patients and PO who cannot uh, take fluid through their mouth. Mm. And then this is the bag volume, and then we at first we collect 360 and then plus 60 for 20 and then we plus 60 for 80 and then and then the back reach the maximum so we remove the urine and then we can start to we also we can also do like 60 60 we can see like 60 and then we move then take 60 and move, move. no he actually gave this as an example yeah it example he he just said that for example if uh, we give 300 ml Okay, after an hour it will be 360, mm -hmm. then an after an hour it will be 420, then 480. Mm -hmm. now, the now the person is hydrated, mm -hmm. for example, so it's normal. After that, uh, we again change it, mm -hmm. we put again. So for example, if it's decreasing, 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 so it shows that there is deficiency in the urine output. Mm -hmm. And now again, if it's increasing, when the person is overhydrated, it does, it's not for NPO. What is it for? But this is for a patient What I want the one he explained for hydration. Hydration is the one for three thousand seven hundred. So, for example, if the patient has the patient has oh, this one, <laughs> oh, this one, this one is the dehydration. Dehydration. Yeah, maintenance. The first one. Oh, yes. So, for example, if the patient has. Patient has normal, uh, like patient doesn't have dehydration, and but the patient is going through surgery, and he will be given NPO diet, Nilpur Os. So for that, first of all, we need to know the body weight of the person. Right? For example, if the body, the body weight is for approximately 60, mm -hmm. so 35 ml we are giving the patient. It's like the formula, like 60 into 35. So it is around 240. A little less than 240. Around 240. So it will be 1.4 liters, right? So we like we can take 1440. And after that. 
So we expect, as far as expected, we find the uh, the body weight into 35 ml. So it is 1440, right? Okay, this one for dehydrated. Uh. No, 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 hydrated. Hydrated, okay. So we put expected as 1400. Okay. Right? After that, according to the sessions, yeah. we will um, try to adjust it into three portions. Yeah, three so portions. So that yeah. it is equal to expected. Okay. Okay, we do this for hydration. And uh, should we explain for that also? Uh, yeah, dehydration. Drops, drops, he said, like for a second and all. Uh, let's, let's try to adjust this first. Okay, so 400. 400. <laughs> okay, for drops, you scroll down. No, 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 like, only one is 400. Only one is 400. So, you want to explain the drops also? <coughs> like for the drops, per hour we need to get like 400 ml. For so, oh, this kid, okay. So, see the nearest 360. So, two drops, two drops per second. Per second. <coughs> That's all drops. If we want 500, we take around 540. 540. So, so, three drops per second. Drops. So, anytime we need to adjust these, we can follow this. Yeah, I guess. But you already made it. Okay, next we will do for dehydration. Oh, three. <coughs> three seconds. Okay. okay, so for dehydration, uh, now the expected, expected was already 1440, one, one, right? Yes. Expected oh, would be 1440. One, <laughs> And I think 1400 is better. Yeah, better. Yeah. And dehydrated? And dehydrated, we have to calculate by the degree of dehydration, like 3% uh, of the body. 3%. 3% of the Let's say it's first degree, then 3%. So 3% first of the degree, 3%, second degree, 6%, third degree, 10%. So accordingly, if, if uh, the patient is thirsty in this case, so it will be 3%, it will be 3 liters. Okay. 3 liters of dehydration. So uh, now, uh, now the thing is, uh, we are taking uh, for uh, dehydration. For food. Ah, sorry, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> so the person is now dehydrated. So we need to do the compensation in the body first of the fluids and then we do maintenance. So accordingly we can uh, we can just take like for example uh, three sessions. Now for one a for session is 1100 uh, it is okay. so this much we do compensation and after that it's um, we maintenance we of the, reach the compensation by here. No, no, no 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 the compensation should be, uh, should be higher here compensation put 2200 here so this one 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 yeah, yeah. So, okay. So now, uh, what if I want to decide? Uh, uh, for example, now, if the urine output of the patient is supposed 40, okay, so uh, this is decreased urine output. So, as we gave 2200, now we will see that the, compens uh, the deficiency of the urine output is less. Therefore, we need to in increase compensation. Then we will go up to maintenance. Uh, we'll compensate unless the urine output is what we expect. Number one, that's smart. Fifth, with everyone, I think you're ready to put me in the board.